Hi, um, I've been rebuilding this Denby drill and uh, I've got a Brook Compton motor here that I wanted to reverse the rotation. It's single phase 2800 revs and there's another one here single phase uh, 1420. Um, this is one horse, that's half horse and I didn't know how to change the direction of rotation so this video is how to do that. It was me just working it out and we got success on both of these motors. So the footage might be a bit disrupted but follow it through and there's the information for you. If you find this useful please give the thumbs up to the video. Cheers for now. Okay there's the motor label. Anyway, there you go. So there's the label, but it's a Griffin again. So let's have a look at this cover. Now then, we have got A1 and A2, and A1, A2 is the neutral, A1 is the live, and then there is a brass link there and a brass link there to Z1 and Z2. I'm wondering if those links move in some way. This one's got a full end to it, it's not a slot. And that one, I don't know. I think I'm just going to undo those and have a look to see whether these links get moved. It looks a bit sort of suspicious, but let's just experiment. So, um, it's quite a fiddle, and these bolts are loose in this insulating material. And the links have got closed ends either end. So I don't reckon that is any way of fiddling around and changing the direction of rotation. It would be far too much hassle. But then when you think about it, we have Z1 and Z2. Now on the other motor, it hasn't got any letters or numbers or anything. So that's what was confusing me. And I think that because that link that comes from the negative and that comes from the positive that if you swap these two over then that's effectively changing over the capacitor circuit so I'm just going to bolt this back together we'll spin her up and make sure we know which rotation it is then we'll swap those over so let's just plug it in So that's clockwise. Now let's just change those cables over. So I'm just going to swap over these two. So we'll just crack on with that. Okay, so that's changed over. So Let's plug it in again. Yeah. So that's worked. It swapped it over. So let's try the other motor. Okay, so we've got neutral there and we've got a link again. And we've got live there, and underneath there, there's a link. So, I think what we need to do is we need to 
swap over that one and that one. And it should go the other way round. There are no marks on here, but I'm going to put a Z and a Z1 on there. Scratch it on at some point. But um, let's just fire this motor up to make sure we know which way around it's going. That looked like anti-clockwise to me. And it is. Right, let's change those connections then. Right, so that's swapped over. And let's plug her in. Hopefully it will go clockwise this time. Yeah, there we go. So there you go, these are Brook Compton uh, Griffin motors, single phase capacitor start motors and you change over Z and Z1 in the box to um, change the direction of rotation and if there isn't uh, any labelling then it's the connection that only has one wire to it. There'll be two connections with one wire to each and those are not directly connected to the mains input. They're connected via a link. Swap those over and it goes the other way round. Hopefully you've gained some uh, benefit from this video and now the next video will be back to the pillar drill. Cheers for now. So let's have a look, we've got the motor back in place. And it's all going the right way, perfect. <laughs>